on the 26th of April, 1993, Brother Patrick Dominic Brunner, better known as Brother Dominic, opened the doors of the first care center. And this occurred in Marsha. And here we are, 26th of April, 2023, 30 years later, and CARE is now located in Grosile, that's the Gruel Center, in Ancillary, in Odsa, and in Soufre. And we are really grateful to God, grateful for Dr. Brother Dominic's vision that he had 30 years ago that has enabled the young people, particularly young males, adolescent males, to have a holistic development. These young men and women who over the years have been able to have a second chance. You know, they have been able to not just develop themselves in terms of their life skills or soft skills, as we sometimes say, but also they have been able to earn a livelihood. They have been able to raise families. The first set of trainees are now some of them business owners. Some of them have said, you know, were it not for Brother Dominic, I do not know where I would be. And so we are really, really proud at this time that regardless of the struggles, because they have been many over the years, we have endured, we have persevered, and here we are able to share with the St. Lucian public the fact that you know dreams do come true. And to expand on that even more, a little later this year, we are looking forward to when the doors of the first care-owned facility will be opened. And that will be on the property that the presentation brothers purchased again decades ago, in which to house care under one roof, as it were. And this is going to come up, as I said, later on this year. And we're hoping that at least when the new school year begins, that or soon after, we will indeed be having the first set of trainees enrolled at Care Cul-de-Sac, the Care Institute in Cul-de-Sac. Well, for the, um, as part of our celebration this year, we are, well, we just had our anniversary mass because we must always begin with giving thanks to God. Um, and so we are grateful that Monsignor Patrick Anthony was available to celebrate with us. On the 4th and 5th of May, we will be having our anniversary exhibition. You may recall that several years ago, well, pre-COVID, we used to have an annual exhibition, but we have not had one now for some time. And we're using this year's celebration to jumpstart our exhibitions once more. So I'm hoping that the general public will come out um, and see what care has to offer. The actual venue, we will be sharing that um, very soon because there's had to be a change. Um, as we say, matters out of our control, beyond our control. But we're hoping that in the next day or so, we will be able to let the general public know where the exhibition is going to be held. But it is going to be in Castries. Okay, now, one of the things that um, I must mention is that CARE now has an active past trainee association. And we are really grateful that this group of young people has been growing steadily. They are those who are the faithful ones, the executive. And actually, on a, um, Saturday past, Saturday the 22nd, there was the Mr. and Miss Care pageant. Now that is the one activity, the one event that the past trainees always assume responsibility for making sure everything goes well. And I must say those who were present at the pageant on Saturday evening were really given a treat. Our young men and our young ladies, they really 
display their talent and they, they, they did well for themselves. Everybody was taken aback. They couldn't believe how well they performed. And we, we are really grateful to the past trainees for undertaking not just ensuring that the event took place, but I understood that they actually sponsored the um, participants, um, making sure that each one had what was needed to perform the way that they performed. And so we are just praying that our past trainees continue to work together and continue to ensure that care does move into the next 30 times 30 years and more. One thing I must um, emphasize is that CARE as an institution, we now have lowered our acceptance age because of requests that we have received over the years. So whereas when Brother Dominic founded CARE, it was for the 15 to 19 year olds. Now we actually have um, young people, our adolescents as young as 12 plus and 13 because we are now thanks to the government of St. Lucia who enabled us to have um, staff, instructors trained in the junior life program. We are able to implement the junior life program at our centers. So young persons, as I indicated, as young as 12 plus, once they have completed their primary education, can now enroll at care. And what we, we, we are encouraging young people, females and males, that, you know, do, do not despair, do not become despondent. There is always a pathway, always an opportunity. And uh, I think now the general public is beginning to understand that care is not for dummies, care is not for retards. Care offers an environment that allows everyone who wants to, and I must emphasize this, everyone who wants to develop themselves, him or herself, any young person who wants to develop him or herself, the past is not to be a deterrent. What happens in the past, we are to learn from, but to move into the future equipped to contribute productively to the development of our islands in Lucia. I would like to say that this exhibition is a very extra, extra special exhibition. It has a lot of meaning to us. As you know, April 26, we celebrated um, a milestone in attaining 30 years of the existence of K. And after a five year hiatus, five years, Due to COVID and other challenges, I think this is quite fitting that we are back with a big bang, a big comeback to have our exhibition. And I'm representing the catering and hospitality department. Okay, so today we have some salara that is a Ghanese turnover. We have some cheese straws, some cookies, fudge and banana bread. We have some cupcakes on sale and sausage rolls. Play, we are currently displaying the tools needed in the, in the field of electrical and refrigeration. Okay, so basically we have all our PPE, our personal protective equipment, all those that we need to stay safe on the work. We have all the tools necessary to take, a, to take part in a job at the moment on this side. And over here we have part of our recovery unit. Well, as you can see, we have baby chairs, we have adult chairs, and we have cupboards. Today, I am displaying the care ancillary aquaponic system, which is basically planting using fishes. So in the first tank, we have the fish. They will eat, and whatever they eat passes through. The waste goes through these two filters, and the nutrients passes through the last tank, and then filters through and provides the seeds with nutrients to grow without using soil or anything else. So just 
gardening without soil and no chemicals. Okay. Uh, what we have here is components of the engine and different tools you use around the vehicle and on the engine of the vehicle. Being at care has changed a lot around in my life because when I started care, it was like a game. Everybody was playing until you reach in the skill part and then you see like, yeah, that's what you come there to do, so that's what you have to put your mind to do so you can get out of there with something good. But yeah, I really enjoy being at care and it, it really have an impact on my life, man. Personally, I knew what care was, but I didn't know what it entailed. So when I came to care, I didn't know they had parenting and all these other important subjects of our life. So as I'm in the skills now, I'm still learning, but I'm getting there. So, en so basically the engine converts power into motion. So it needs fuel, air or oxygen and a spark to basically run. An engine is basically anything that moves. So anything could be an engine like the human body is basically an engine itself. So yeah. Um. Well, we have um, clothes, we have pencil holders, cups, bowls, bottles. We have a house, um, paintings, and yeah, that's it. Caps, bathing suits, and yeah, that's it. We are celebrating 30 years of building the nation's youth with care because you know at care we do care and as you look around those of you who have not yet had a chance to visit the different areas on the perimeter you will those who are going to visit you will indeed see the creativity that has been mentioned and uh, the poem that was written by our trainee I said that is really short and sweet. It captured the essence of care and what care does. Now, as you look around the exhibits, I want you to bear in mind that these have been created by young people who, when they entered the doors of care, had very low self-esteem, most of them and the low self-confidence, most of them. But I am sure as you visit the different tents, you will not see anything that has any resemblance to personalities of low self-esteem or self-confidence. Because I've already been asked by someone who is a major coordinator of the soon to be launched St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival who has asked that um, some of our exhibits be allowed to stay behind that can be used in the arts component of the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. So I think we need to really, really congratulate our instructors and our trainees for the excellent job that they are doing that have garnered this notice by a national coordinator. Having said that, that what you see would not have occurred by chance. And it is because every trainee must complete our adolescent development program. And so among um, the exhibits, you will see the core areas of the adolescent development program. The spirituality component is being represented by Care Otsa. The self-awareness component by Care Ancillary. The parenting component would be by Care Souffre. And the public speaking component by Care Grow Well. So you see, all our centers are directly involved in every component of the exhibition today. When we also consider what is taking place at CARE, I must draw to your attention the fact that the majority of our trainees 
uh, young males, adolescent males. And again, as you visit the tents, the booths, you will see that we have our young males representing the different areas, skill areas. And this just shows the support that we continue to provide our adolescent males. And so I am again beseeching those of you who are present, those of you who will view, um, to continue helping us as we help what is now considered a fragile species, our adolescent and young males. Um, because as you see, we are helping to fill that niche. And so as we continue to give them the skill set in uh, auto technology, in uh, air condition, refrigeration, carpentry joinery, catering and hospitality, in office skills. And we have our newest skill program, aquaponics, that you will see on display. And this is how we are now launching into our climate smart programs. I ask you to not just come out and support us, continue to support us during this year, but also to encourage young people who you see might be just sitting idly on the blocks or roaming the streets. Take time out to speak with them. Take time out to find out what is their story, because everyone has a story. And while, yes, we always say at CARE, we aim to do the best we can with what we have, we know on our own we cannot do all. We cannot do it alone. And so each one of us, I am asking that we take the time out to help someone, because a family is affected when the young person is not being productive. So let us all, there is the thing that we all are one, we all are indeed one. So help us as we continue to build care, the skill areas that you see represented, the trainees themselves at the end of their program with care, they would be um, leaving with certification, Caribbean Vocational Qualification, the CVQ certification, um, some of them would be doing, we have done in the past, and we are hoping to continue with this, the CCSLC, and um, that's another form of certification from CXE, the Caribbean Examinations Council. And so you see, we're giving them a holistic development. And again, I was told to be brief. So I am being brief by just asking you to help us celebrate building our nation's youth with care. I thank you. Poem written by Faith Serville. Building the nation's youth with care. Generations have passed, generations will come. 30 years of care, still standing strong. Look in the buildings, look in the stores all around you. Young, talented, hardworking, past and present students groomed to perform the best they can become such a perfect representation of this year's theme, building the nation's youth with care. Thank you. Celebrating 30 years, yes, building the nation youth with the Center for Adolescent Renewal Education. 30 years, yes, building the nation youth with the Center for Adolescent Renewal Education. If you are be certified, sign up with care. Auto mechanic skill have that day, while learn electrician care have that day. Daughter wa cook so you send her to care. Catering is the skill being taught at care. While learn office skill so you sing by the care. Office skill is the skill and care have it there. When me get me CVQ, me gone out of there. Cause 30 years, yes, building the nation youth with the center for adolescent renewal education. 30 years, yes, building the nation youth with the center for adolescent renewal education.